We good? Yes, we are good. All right. As far as I can remember, this is the crock that we threw and the lid. And uh, what I did is I let them dry pretty well, pretty quickly, down to where they're leather hard, where I can handle them. And then I wrapped them up at, for about a week or however many days it was to let the, let the moisture content equalize between all the pieces and all the different surfaces. <clears throat> and um, the stood still fit, so I just check real quick and yeah, it fits nice. And we'll take that out. Set that aside for a minute. Then I'm gonna trim the bottom on this one. Flip it over here. That's risky. It can be if you're not careful. Usually I will tap these on center, but I can't do that with these bigger ones because they'll punch a big dent in the side of it. Watch out. Watch out. Watch out. And I'm not centering at the bottom here because that's going to be a little bit off from where I cut the wire through. So I'm looking about here and that looks pretty good. Wait, so I have a question. So, yes. for. Hold on. Audience member. I'll be back. She'll be back. Can you guess who it is today? Who is it? Is she going <laughs> to. Okay. So, right here, you Over know. Over here? Come over here a little closer. <laughs> okay, so tell me. <laughs> no. So. <laughs> Right here, it's thin, uh, thicker, but then over here, it's like thinner right here. Like yeah, that's edge. where I draw the, drew the wire through from this side over to here. So it kind of pulled the clay with it because it was very soft at the time when I did that. So this indentation right here? Yep, so that's part of the thing. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get rid of that. I'm going to use this one. Wait, what do you want to get rid of? No more indentation. Looks good, right? Yeah. I'll take it. That work for you to do. You can stay over here. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe? Um, I'm going to go cat first. Um, Alright. This is an older trimming tool that I took a grinder to to sharpen up. It's not really good enough to do finish trimming, but it saves wear and tear on my newer ones. So they last longer. somewhere hoping he's not up getting into trouble. Hi there. Hey buddy. How's my little buddy? Good. Now which of my little buddies have I got today? Have I got Charlotte today? Sadly yes. Got the actual Charlotte. Sadly, no way. Well I mean I broke one of my promises that I would never be seen but <laughs> I think you broke it for good reason though. Now, I put this little ring here, kind of as a as a detail to, to to signal the end of the pot here towards the bottom stylistically. And it also gives me an opportunity to reverse the curve. I had a convex curve all the way around this pot and here on the bottom I do a little concave curve. We're learning about that for lenses. We're learning about light and sound. Light and sound? Yes. Neat. Goodness, these things are just flying everywhere. Yeah, but that'll happen. It's a messy job. But it's fun. Oh, you want to get into the water bucket. Yeah, it did. All right, so. I trim the bottom here just to clean it up and make it sure it's nice and flat. And now I'm going to use a flat edged 
tool because they're easier to sharpen. Cut my little angle on there. So they're pretty even. Good. And now, use my handy dandy spoon. Not for soup, but for polishing. Hi there, sweetness. Hi. So much easier to throw pots when you're hugging me. Oh, I don't want to unsteady. Yeah, my laughter last time was the unsteady part. It was funny. <laughs> yeah, I think that was one of my best shows. All right, so I'm burnishing this down to be all nice and smooth. I've pushed in all the bigger chunks of clay and any abnormalities. It also does a final compressing of the clay on here, so it's uh, going to be very strong. Is this what you use to poke holes? It is, and I'll use the bigger one in just a minute. round pot and I'm just going to start putting a dent in this side here. What are you doing? What I'm doing is I'm making a little vertical spot for the spigot and I use this little cork. I line it up with the center here to make sure that it's pointing straight out from there. I put it down a little further and then I'm looking at it this way to just make sure that I have a flat spot there. So that the, the spigot will be fairly horizontal. Huh. Now I use the big cutter. You can't, you won't see it here, but I'm gonna bring it around this side. I can see it. And I'm gonna cut a hole in there, and I'm almost done with this. So what I'm gonna do next, and we'll pick it up with a lid here in just a minute. So you might want to go around to pause it. Alrighty. Because what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to draw a couple of lines on here. I'll draw a straight line from this hole, from this hole all the way down, and I'm going to put some on the other side. And those are going to be my sight lines for when I put the handles on. But we're going to, I'll do that here in the intermission. Go. Beep. Beep. Alright, putting the lid on the, the wheel here. Can you see the lid there, Charlotte? Yes. Why are you tapping it? To get it in the center. Oh, that's what you were saying about the other pot. That's what I was saying. Yeah, actually, before I put some things on there, I like to make a, like I did on the bottom, I put a little concave part to, at the end of the pot, I'm putting a little concave part here at the end of the lid. Below this little ring is going to be unglazed because that's where it's going to sit in the gallery. And it'll be there when I fire it, so. Are you being silly? How do you know? I think somebody's being silly up here behind me. I think I might have had some rabbit ears there for a minute. Oh, because I have eyes in the back of my head. You do. I do. I can see everything. Wait, hold on. I'm going to be dad. You got my dad glasses on? <laughs> With the nice little hooky thingies in the back. I don't know what that's for. All oh, right. I nice got a lot of clay to take off of here. So I'm going to get into this. When I throw these, I throw these just to have the shape on the inside. I... <clears throat> and, I, and I know there's going to be some extra clay, so I don't I don't mind trimming a bunch out. I also like to have a fairly thicker lid. I think it just feels good to me to have a, a 
heftier lid. Listening in, in school? Yes, I do that. You do? Yeah. What did you do in school today? We watched Bill Nye again. He's my idol. You like Bill Nye? Yes, he is amazing. A lot of he, fun. He is. I hope we start watching him instead of Boozman Science. Never heard of Boozman Science. Me neither until I got into her class. Okay. Well, we should watch some Carl Sagan. Uh, no? I think I'm going to put a second curve here just because I want to. It's going to be a little bigger than the other one. Okay, get your sore feet out of there. Alright, so there, that is trimmed. I'm going to, like I did on the bottom, I'm going to polish this with my spoon. Even though this is all going to be glazed. Alright, and I draw lines on here too because I'm going to need to put some reference marks where I'm going to put the handle on this lid. A little dot in the middle. That'll be about the inside of the handle. That'll be about the outside of the handle. And because this is a kombucha crock, I'm going to put some holes in here for ventilation. So I'm going to put those about there. You may not be able to see that. I don't know. But I'm going to draw some other lines here. No, you can't. Why'd you pick green? Well, actually it was yellow. Huh. And I could never see it, so I took a little bit of blue and I squirted it in there. You should do pink. Maybe. Like dark pink? Like <gasps> like yeah, the color of your shirt. Yeah. That would be a pretty pink. Well, I did start with red, but I ran through that entire bottle. And then I ran through the entire bottle of regular green. Goodness. This is kind of a chartreuse. Oh, good. oh goodness, oh goodness. Oh my goodness. Ugh. All right, get out of the way. Now I use my other hole cutter. Small one. Yep. And I'll do that a bunch of times around there. So if you want, we'll end it there, and uh, we'll do the next video. We'll be putting handles on these. So end it, not pause it. Yeah. Alrighty, face zoom. Face zoom. Yeah. Goodbye. Everybody's least favorite part. <laughs>